Hey guys, what's up? I'm in Phoenix today. I'm on the last day of a week-long marketing conference I've been attending with my coach, Jeff Walker, and his team. And Jeff helps people uh, produce, market, and sell products and services online. In my case, producing coaching and training videos for the real estate industry. So you guys know that's what I'm doing. And uh, so we've been working on that all week. And I've been surrounded by people, um, well, a lot of people who are new to this. I put myself in the new category. I'm not new to helping salespeople um, uh, become really good at selling, but doing that online is where it becomes newer for me. So I'm closing that knowledge gap, as are a lot of other people that I've been with this week in their respective industries. But there's also been some very successful people working with us uh, right alongside uh, the other coaches. Uh, people who uh, who regularly talk to Tony Robbins and Sir Richard Branson. There's a couple people here, you guys, who even have Oprah's number on their cell phone. So I guess uh, it's safe to say they're playing the game at a really high level. And as we're working together this week, I noticed that in that environment, everybody just kind of lets their guard down. We're all working on the basics. And we tend to think that only new people suffer from self-doubt or limiting beliefs or run into roadblocks or high levels of frustration or fail at things or you know they try to launch something and it, it doesn't doesn't go like like they expected but what became very clear this weekend is that there are people with 10 million dollar a year businesses not 10 million dollars in real estate sales like 10 million actual dollars coming into their business um, or in some cases more every year and even at that level they have maybe bigger versions of the problems, but they're the same problems, you guys. And, and I noticed a pattern that the really successful people tend to do four things over and over again. The first thing I noticed is that they always surround themselves with people who are growth-based, who plug into coaching and push each other to think bigger. They're not hanging around people that, as Zig Ziglar said so many years ago, have that stinking thinking. <laughs> Those people are quickly re weeded out of their lives. The second thing that they do is when they feel stuck, they identify what the next step is. It's almost like they, um, this, this one, one, one guy, um, I, I could literally see on his face as he would sort of forget about the, the bigger picture of what he was going after in his, in his business and zero in on what's the very next thing he could do. Talk about uh, uh, being present and working from the now. And then the third thing is take a deep breath or in other words, get yourself emotionally grounded and centered. And then the fourth thing is just take the step. Just put one foot forward and like do the thing and then see what happens because then you can put that pattern in repeat. You can identify what's the next step, take, in a, take a big breath, and then take that step. Just one step at a time. And that was refreshing for me to see this weekend. So my question to you is, how have you been doing in your business this year? Are you succeeding wildly? Or are you falling behind? Are you somewhere in between? What I know for sure is it doesn't really matter because wherever you are on that spectrum, you got stuff that you're dealing with and we all need a little bit of boost. So take a few minutes today and think about your performance, think about where you might be getting frustrated or stuck, and tune into that. I believe that if we, if we get still and grounded and tune into our inner source of knowledge, we all know what that next step is. Because what you can do Monday morning is you can look around your world and you can start immediately to eliminate people that aren't supporting you and replacing them with people that will. You can identify that next step, you can take a deep breath, and Monday morning, you can take that step. For you, it might be just picking up the phone and talking to people in your network that you haven't connected with for a while. It might be calling or somehow connecting or knocking on the door with that for sale by owner that you've driven by for the past five days and chickened out <laughs> because you got the flyer, but that's all you did, right? It could be anything like that that you've been holding yourself back, that one little step. And I would love to hear what that is for you. I would love to hear because maybe I could step in and help out and give you a little boost, a little boost of confidence next week so that you can take that step. Um, but what I know for sure is that we all go through the same process and uh, we all need other people to help us succeed. So my name is Jason Edwards. Wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment, and let's go think bigger this week.